Hello everyone. Welcome to this video. Today, we'll explore information stealer malware, how it operates, and its threats. For educational purposes, we'll also demonstrate how to create a basic information stealer in Python. Let's dive in. Information stealer malware is designed to covertly collect and exfiltrate sensitive data like login credentials, financial info, and personal details from infected devices. It uses methods like key logging, form grabbing, and clipboard monitoring too. This image shows the workflow of the information stealer. First, the target runs the stealer program. Once it's up and running, the information stealer starts gathering various system information. Finally, it sends all this collected data to the hacker server using an HTTP POST request. Let's create a Python script called stealer.py. Before that, you have to install Python on your system. First, we import necessary modules. We're using requests for making HTTP requests, OS for interacting with the operating system, and time for handling delays. Here, we assign the URL of the attacker server to the URL variable. In this case, it's set to HTTP colon slash slash localhost, port 3000. The script gathers system information by executing the system info command using os.popen method. This method retrieves the data, which is then read using .read method. This gathers details about the operating system and its configuration. Next, we package this information into a dictionary named data. After collecting the system information, the script attempts to send this data to the attacker server. It uses the requests.post method, passing the URL, URL, and the collected data JSON as parameters in an HTTP POST request. If there's an issue sending the data, such as a network problem, it retries after waiting for three seconds using time to sleep method. This script serves as a basic example of how information stealers can function by quietly collecting and transmitting. Here is the full code of the stealer Python file. Now the attacker server part. Let's create server Python file. First, we import the necessary methods from Flask, Flask and Request. We create an instance of the Flask app. Next, we define a route to handle post requests at the root URL. Inside this route, we extract the info field from the JSON data in the incoming request using request JSON. We then open a file named a target underscore information in write mode with open method. The extracted data is written to the file using file write method. After successfully writing the data to the file, the server responds with the OK -E to indicate the operation was successful. Finally, we run the Flask app on port 3000. Here is the full code of the server Python file. I uploaded these files to my GitHub repository. You can download or clone it by using Git. Open a terminal in the current directory of the stealer. Run the build file to install the necessary packages and automatically compile it into the exe format. For Windows, run build.bat. For Linux, run build sh. In this case, I am using Windows, so I am running the build.bat file. After building, as you can see, the stealer file is named a PDF document. Now let's run the server. The server is listening on port 3000 and waiting for client response. When the target opens the malware, it collects data, sends it to the attacker server, and saves the file as target underscore information txt. As you can see, we get the target underscore information txt file. Let's open the file. Here you can see the information, like host name, OS name, OS version, OS manufacturer, OS build type, OS version, install date, and boot time. It can be highly valuable for attackers. Here are some use cases for this information. System profiling, exploit development, persistence, privilege escalation, targeted attacks, avoiding AVG detection, selling information, and so on. So that's all for today, guys. I hope you found this deep dive into information stealer malware informative and eye-opening. 
Remember, understanding how these threats work is crucial in defending against them. If you have any questions or want to see more content like this, please leave a comment below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more cybersecurity insights. Stay safe and secure, and I'll see you in the next video.